Hello Minecrafters out there, my name is Fape and welcome back to another tutorial in the redstone mine. What we have here is an intelligent multi-furnace system inspired by a video from um, Codecrafter. I will put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. What you can do is you could put your smelting stuff and your fuel just all in one chest and it will smelt everything up just fine. And there we go, everything nice and smelted. So this is the design, it's basically the same concept Codecrafted used in his industrial furnace, but I added this automated fuel recognition system here. Of course it's just a segment of an item sorter. This hopper recognizes the coal and it will send the coal down here to this line and everything else will just take the upper line here. And this, uh, this build here just uses four furnaces, but it is extendable, so if you want it have to be even faster, you can extend it, like I did over here. This is an eight furnace system and it recognizes three different types of fuel. It recognizes coal, charcoal and blaze rods. There are new additions necessary to get it to work, but once you understand how it works, it isn't a problem at all. So let me try and explain you what happens here. So the items you put into your top chest will get into this hopper here and as I told you if it is coal it will get sucked down into this hopper line. Everything else will just move on to this chest and then into this line. And once it reaches the last hopper it will activate this comparator and therefore deactivate this torch which is right now deactivated because the chest is empty. But usually when the item flows back here it will deactivate this line as soon as the first item hits last hopper and all hoppers suddenly open and so it will be equally distributed into these furnaces and the same thing works for the fuel over here. But if you have more than one types of items in your system they will clock up in these hoppers above the furnaces and if they don't go right through they will get locked again so therefore is that mechanism that when the chest is empty all the hoppers will unlock and the stuff can just flow into the furnaces. But I think you will understand more of it when we actually build it. So let's get to it. Alright, I prepared a little bit here. So this is where your chests will go. And you'll have to go one, two, three, four down and place some droppers for your item elevator to get your smelted resources back up. So four droppers that will lead into this chest here. And then we'll have just the item elevator, comparator into a block, into a repeater, block, redstone, repeater and another redstone and another repeater over here. Then a block here into a torch and one more block and one more torch. And it's already working, let's just put something in. There we go, item elevator finished. So to orientate our furnaces we place two hoppers and then as many furnaces as we want to. I place four to have the same design that I have had up in front. Let's take the furnaces. One, two, three, four. And then of course you have to place hoppers on top of them for the items that should get smelted and hoppers behind them for the fuel. Now we need the item line to distribute the hoppers. So the last hopper points downwards and the other hoppers just point into a hopper line, one further out. Then we'll place a chest on top of that. And the hopper line down here is pretty similar. The last one goes down. And then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. So let's finish the hopper line up here around the corner. And let's extend the upper chest so the items that you want to smelt get sucked out of the chest into this line. And now we have to connect the upper line with the fuel line by a sorting system unit. So what we want to do is place a block here and we'll, the hopper will face there. We'll remove that block again and we'll place blocks like so. Here, here and here. Then we'll put a repeater down here and the comparator up here. Connect this stuff with redstone and we'll have a torch right here. So how does this work? We'll fill up the 
sorting hopper with four eggs and then the type of fuel you want to use. Let's use coal for here again. And as soon as there is coal in this hopper, it can drop down into here. But these items will stay in there because of this torch. And as soon as more coal hits this hopper, the coal will start to flow out because this torch will get activated. The threshold is seven. So six will stay in here and the next will just flow out just like that. All right, so this would already work for one furnace, but now we have to try and make it um, distributed evenly. So what we do is place a block here and here with some comparator action. And they will face into another block. And then we'll have just two torches left and right, which will activate the redstone two blocks below. And just continue on this hopper line, these four should be locked and the same thing for the other side just two and then one two three four and this is already working f if you have just one item you want to smelt but usually the items will get clocked up in the hopper and if the hoppers, hoppers stay locked they won't flow downwards so what we do is detect if this chest is empty by another comparator over here which feeds into another torch. And then we'll use some half slabs because otherwise these hoppers would be locked as well. So use half slabs over the hoppers and another block here. And then we'll just connect it with redstone and we are good to go. It's as simple as that. Now you can purify it a little bit. I usually just make the, the arch over here to hide the redstone behind it. And this whole system already works. So let's put just some stuff in and that's it guys let's have a look yeah all four furnaces are working the gold is distributed evenly and you can extend it to this extent but once you understand how it works it's pretty easy as I told you and I really hope this video helped if you enjoyed it please feel free to leave a like as always and I will hope to see you all next time so have a nice day and seriously guys don't be daft Play some Minecraft.